Uganda is taking baby steps in adopting artificial intelligence. The ranking of 132 out of 193 may not be an exciting result. Based on a couple of reasons, culture, perceptions, etc., Paul Katende is in the practice of measuring how far we have come. Many people are not exposed to understand what this technology is, right from the beginning on how they were brought up. So that's a very major problem. For example, when you talk about digital skills, what is the conversation of digital skills in the fourth industry evolution? It's totally different from the conversation of digital skills in the third industry. In 1950 or 1960, 70, when the e-commerce platforms had just come up, the Alibabas and uh, the internet, the major digital skills around that time were building websites, building applications, you know, um, coding per se. Now, building a website right now in the fourth industry revolution is a digital skill, but it's not relevant enough. Why? Because even the conversation of digital skilling has changed. Um, because AI can literally deploy a website in minutes. So if AI can do uh, what probably someone had a job on, or, you know, digital skills in the, in the third industry revolution, so now what's the conversation of digital skills right now? Here we're talking about quantum computing, nanotechnologies, blockchain technology, you know. And so because our foundations when it comes to curricula and skilling and exposure are so low, that in turn affects how AI is perceived in the country. Despite great momentum being shown by government today on the impact of artificial intelligence, there's a policy vacuum that could be slowing down awareness and adaptation. That's a problem. Um, now that we have a framework, I think one of the reasons why we do AI Advocates as a foundation is that we want to bring the private sector, the public sector, on a round table and actually not only discuss but have a practical work around to have ground impact of this conversation in Uganda. It is so futuristic. Our unemployment rate is north of 85% in the country. 2.6% of Uganda's population, of the 100,000 university students, or 20,000 university students leave university every year. Only 2.6% enter the workforce. Only 2.6%. The conversation should be, how can AI bring down the unemployment from 85% down to 65% in the next two years? And the country is lagging behind some regional peers. However, Paul says the community is growing with support from government and donors. We received an official recommendation from the Ministry of ICT and National Guidance to go and skill the country. And so we also worked with the National ICT Innovation Hub where we have been having a 10-week boot camp free of charge. We have been for free of charge training um, people and people from different walks of life. We reduced the total about 947 people. And on a weekly, we had an average of about 237 people coming at the National ICT Innovation Hub for the last three months. We graduated and certified them, at, uh, about 132 graduates. We have a community of about 2,500 Ugandans to date. These numbers from trainings and awareness offer hope that the country may one day get there. Already, a research report by the Global System for Mobile Communications shows that the majority of African AI use cases are related to agriculture, climate action and energy. Malcolm Sime, NTV Tonight Business.